So, Mark, it's the final game of pre-season tomorrow. What are your thoughts ahead of Haven? Yeah, the penultimate game coming up. Um, Haven, we, we've um, got that fixture in quite early because we knew we really wanted to end on a, a, a team that will represent what we're going to be playing against. Haven certainly do that. Um, we've got a, a really, really strong team, strong setup down there, so they're going to really test us and hopefully get us more ready for what, what entails for the, for the future. Um, so, yeah, no, we're, we're looking forward to the game. Um, it'll be our third game in a week, so we've really built up, hopefully, building up that match robustness, getting that fitness into everyone. And um, we're still in that sort of um, area that we're trying to refine bits, and we're also trying to get them final touches on, on, on the fitness. And that, that last bit is all, always comes through the games and the matches. And we've seen in the two games so far this week a um, very, very similar start in 11 in both with the players getting a lot of, a lot of minutes in this pre-season schedule. So, you know, is there going to be a few changes? Or are you really just trying to get, you know, a lot of minutes into, into those players? Well, we're trying to balance it. We're trying to get in as many minutes to the people. Our squad's quite small. Um, so, um, you know, there won't be too many changes. We're try obviously trying to gel the players and get those relationships. And the more they play with each other, the more hopefully that will grow. So that's certainly the case there. We have got a lot of minutes in, into people. We'll continue to top them up um, next week. And um, yeah, see who arrives in the in the best shape and the best form, ready for the start of the season. And one of those players, of course, formerly known as Trialist Day, Michael Class, we announced today. So you know, give us your thoughts on him joining the squad. Yeah, I'm delighted to get him on board. Um, you know, and I, th I thank the, the ball for, for backing us on that one. It's certainly an area that we we needed to strengthen. We're quite light in the midfield area, so um, we really needed to um, you know add add to that area. But it's not just adding anyone; it's adding the right person, the right character, the, the right personality. And uh, I know Michael well. Um, I followed his career, um, you know, since he was at QPR. I've, I've come into contact with him a few times now. Um, come down to Bournemouth for a bit, and obviously had him at South End as well. So I knew what what qualities he possesses. But the, the thing I most like about him is is his hunger. I think he's had some some good experiences in football already, which is hopefully only um, you know strengthening his motivation going forward. And again, looking forward to Saturday tomorrow. Um, it, well, haven't played with a 4G pitch, don't they? So does that cause any any differences any in preparations? No, we train on a on an astro turf, and um, there's teams with an astro turf in our league. So again, it's another good test for us. Obviously, um, you know, obviously Maidstone and Bromley. Um, so it's it's something the the players are used to now. Like I said, we train on it. They're, they're, they're a lot more common now, and um, they're, they're much better quality now as well. So, um, you know, there's going to be no, no excuses there, that, that is for sure.